I am joined by a beautiful woman. She's got a voice like gold. And of course, she's absolutely gorgeous. I think the soul in her is just, I don't even know what to say. Where do I start? I'm hanging out with Meryl Page. Hi. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Anika. <laughs> Great to see you. So you psyched me up. I mean, everybody's just waiting to see who's this beautiful mama. Well, they better. Oh, they better. Oh, they thank better. you. And of course, you can watch the show on spicefm.co.ke. It is super cool to have great people come through. Yeah. And of course, um, we've got a fantastic set lined up, according to what my producer tells me. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into it, for the people who do not know, because I have been blessed to watch you perform, oh, and yeah? I was blown away. Oh. I haven't seen you in months yes yes but who is meryl page oh meryl page is a singer songwriter yes. uh, i am a 28 year old strong woman nice and uh basically um i uh, basically my world is music yeah yeah i do music i do live music uh, i do events for upcoming uh, to create a platform for upcoming uh, musicians, live musicians. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just for training, for purposes of mentorship. Yes. And, yeah, that's basically me. Wow. Yeah. You're saying just basically me. Yeah. You've got a presence <laughs> that is just amazing. Oh, you thank you. You you command attention. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you walked that's in and you. I was like, I think we're going to have a great show. What? I think we're going to have a good one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, where did the love of music begin? What are some of the, you know, artists you grew up listening to that, you know, uh, inspired where you are now? Oh, my God. I mean, I'm, I'm a 90s kid, so many, many the songs for 2000, <laughs> 2000. 2000s were, you know what, that's when you're cognitive yes. and listening to uh, when Beyonce, I could just in his child started. Yes. So I'm such an R&B head. Yes. I listen to the old school Zach, uh, Drew Hill. Yes. So my music is definitely, definitely consumed by R&B and soul music. I yes. Like Celine Dion. Um, well, you know, that was the time, he, Whitney Houston, big, yeah. big voices. Yes. Yeah. And then it came to the 2000s where, you know, Jennifer Hudson's were coming out. Yes. Uh, so I'm... Um, that is basically musically. I am. I'm. I'm confined to that. Yeah. But as in a court, But music, singing, yes. singing. Actually, I never knew my family was a musical one. Yeah. You know, you're just doing your thing because everyone is a doctor, lawyer, teacher, whatever they're doing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they come out. Like last year, my family came out and they were just like, "By the way, I can play the keys." My uh, my dad. Did you know my dad was in a band? That was you, now my grandpa. Yeah. Do you know he was in a band, a full band? I was like, "What? You guys are telling me this now?" <laughs> Because we're realizing that it's coming out of all our grandchildren. Yeah. Like it's like my cousins, yes. they can play instruments, they can sing. Yes. My cousin is um Ida Onyango who yes. who 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 used to sing like the song. I, re I remember yeah. Ida. Yeah. You're related to Ida? Direct cousin. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, coming from a musical family has its pressures. Man. But it explains why you are so gifted because you don't oh. struggle to do it. Oh my god, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle so much. Yeah. I struggle so much. But I do it because it's 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 me. It's like a drug. Yeah. It's inside. It's just in my soul. It's my blood. I don't think it's like a drug, but I think it's like sugar and spice and oh, everything else. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of minutes at the top of the hour, and I've got a song for my special guest. I'm gonna be dropping it because I know exactly what she's about. And if you're here and you love throwbacks, don't move because we're going to be giving you an amazing showcase only on your radio. And of course, keep chiming in on today's trend mill topic is sharing thing good or bad. And of course, on the record rumble, vote, vote, vote. Is it going to be Etta James or is it going to be Avicii? Who's taking the crown today? And um, Meryl, yeah. um, when it comes to live performance, there's a lot of young people who feel like there's no space for them to do that. Oh. Um, and where do I start? How do I get someone to hold my hand? I need mentors. I'm going to need money for this. Um, where did your breakthrough come in? Oh, my breakthrough hasn't yet come in. <laughs> Preach. I am still really struggling by myself. Yeah. As in, uh, the thing is, what I did after, I did, I went to Saudi Academy. Yes. Saudi Academy is a one-year uh, artist development program. Yes. So there they, they give me the oomph to go on because they were like, music is a business. Music yes. is a business. So my brain was just like, okay, how am I going to get into this business? Yes. So I started doing events. Yes. Now, through events is when I started learning. By the way, I can make money through through uh, performing in, in the music industry before I start to actually make money through oh, uh, the CMAs, you know, the people who collect money yes. or all the, all the rest of the thing or online. So I was like, yo, um, I, might learn, I might learn through this and then I might give the same knowledge to somebody else. Mm. And yeah, I'm right now, it's when I'm right there. 
I decided to release my album yes. so that I can be able to actually give my other female friends the you know the way forward. This nice. is the this is the blueprint. Come on, try it, you know. In the and next I, hour, <laughs> in the next hour, we're going to be talking the new album. Your image, yes. and of course, being a female artist in the business. Mm. There's been a couple of stories flying around, yeah, yeah. and we're going to talk about that in just a bit. I don't know whether that has affected your journey. Okay. And of course, we're going to get a live performance. If you're wondering who I'm hanging out with, it is Meryl Page, M-E-R-Y-L-P-A-I-G-E, okay? Don't don't tweet other people, okay? <laughs> Make sure you get the handle right. It's on Spice FM K-E. Meryl Page is here. Yeah. Looking all sorts of yummy. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> some people are thinking, uh, is she Kenyan? I am. Is she Kenyan? I am very, very Kenyan. Why the name I Meryl am Page? Luo, that is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that's the I problem? I am Luo because, you know, uh, Luo is just getting to that zone where I, I don't know, they connect with which gods. Yes. And they tell them these names. Because <laughs> my mom, they don't, my grandma was called Mary. Yes. So my mom did not want every other um, a niece and nephew to be called Mary. And also yes. I'm part of it. So I guess she was just like, yo, my baby's a goddess and yo, she'll be called Meryl. Because she loves Meryl Streep. Yes. Yeah, and then Paige, uh, she was, uh, you know, she was in um, in the Italy. Yes, she got the name from Paige. That like when she was pregnant with me. So, 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 wait a minute. Um, if I send you Mpesa right now, yeah, it's your Mpesa be. number. Your Mpesa name is Meryl Page. Meryl Page. Yes. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, like, mommy. Thank you, daddy. <laughs> shout out to your parents. Yeah, uh, they, they knew. They knew. This star, a star is born. You know <laughs> when you have the image on lock yeah. and you've got that power name and you yeah. don't need to change it because yeah. you could call yourself Sugar Plum 86. Yes, I could. And then 50, 60 years from now, you want to be Aretha Franklin mm -hmm. and you want to be um, Anita Baker. But yeah. you, you had that name, you yes, know? Yes, yes, um, Because the Spice Girls are not the Spice Girls right now. Yes. So, so, so when you have a name like Meryl Page... You're Basically, sorted yeah. forever. For for life. You've got a long career ahead. Amen. Yes. Amen. I do. I do. <laughs> I, I would I have very big dreams for my music career. I love In that. My music business. I would love to reach a point where I have like a whole uh, all female mentorship uh, club. Yes. I would love to I, I'm, I'm so female empowerment. You I know? can I'm tell. In that, I'm in that zone. I yeah. love females because I've been supported by females all my life. I love that. People with pure hearts, people who when they love really, really, really love. Mm. You know, there's all this uh, dances of oh, girls are their worst, worst enemies. I disagree. I have not found even one woman who's my worst enemy. Yeah. I have and, not found. And, and, and just like you, I think we have that in common. Uh, you know, I've, I've had amazing women support me in my career. Yes. I've worked with women and women can work together. They can. And I think we need to change that narrative. Yes, yes we should. It's about time. Yes. Um, earlier on this week, um, there was a couple of posts about the Kenyan music industry mm -hmm. and how women are not really getting to where they need to be because of sexual abuse yeah. in the business. Um, there's a particular artist who put up a post and shared... Um, some very disturbing mm -hmm. uh, content there I, I read it this for morning. all to see. I, I mean, it was a lot. I read it this morning. I was so passionate about it. I it was, it was like, yes. And, and, you know, it makes you feel like it's very brave of her to do it. Yes. But could this be the actual reason that women are not topping charts, mm. not top five artists on the continent, especially in Kenya? Mm. We've heard about these things mm -hmm. way when, when it was all about our Kelly and Aaliyah. Mm. But to hear that this is happening in Kenya, there was a couple of name drops yeah. um, in that post. Yeah. Um, and producers taking advantage of female artists, and mm -hmm. that's why they're not where they need to be. Mm -hmm. um, a good studio session is hard to come by. Mm. Uh, uh, having you know the, the quality standards yes. maintained because no one is taking the women seriously. Yes, yes. Is this something that you can I, endorse? I, is this a post I, you can endorse and I say this is can happening? I can identify with it 100 percent yeah uh you see i always say that if you could look at my previous um even my previous uh, uh, interviews yeah i'm always like this guys usually have this uh idea of yo gota 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 mm. na, ah, you soon if i even mean they mm. understand each other in a way that uh, mm. so things get done it's like yo uh if i'm a videographer I'll just come to your show and I will shoot it and then ah uh, to sort it out by Ukini ni ma pesa and uh, You know, I'll just tell you. I'll tell you off. Yeah. Or I'll make sure I get the money somehow. I'll yes. take your stuff or something like that. But you see, men don't know how to deal with women in that way. Mm. So it's either sexual favors or or if I don't have money, it's sexual favors. If I don't have management, somebody looking out for me. Yes. It's a problem. 
No, they'll they'll be like, yo, come come through. If I, I have money, you don't even have to pay me. Yeah, you just you know just be coming through. I will I will figure out a way to help you out. Mm. But then when you're in there, you're trying to work. You're busy. You're actually looking out for your future. Somebody's looking at your thighs. Somebody's looking at your figure. You know you can't really help that at the end mm. of the day. But as in the professionalism is lacking in the female side. So at the end of the day, you're so you're so desperate. Yeah, very desperate for. You know, uh, recognition, desperate for fame, desperate to actually get something out there. Yes, that so many people do not see their value. They don't see their value as I'm a musician. I, I, I can do this somewhere else. Yeah, somebody else will see how great I am. Yeah, they decide that this is the person who's supposed to take me out there. Even Cardi B complained. Yes, Cardi B complained that before she got whatever she was, it has she been had, it has been tough. She uh, had to actually do a lot of things with people she didn't even want to do things with. Yeah. Someone you know. here says, um, I will not even start with the stagnation of projects as a female artist Amen. in the business. Um, I personally took a break from music after producers in Kenya started uh, postponing my sessions and sometimes make me stay late than yeah. I should and for no reason at all no justification not because I'm not not because I'm mm. I, I like I like talent but it's because they want something more from me mm -hmm. um, is this discouraging for women who are trying to make it because the consumer the audience are always quick to say where are the female artists we've got other women on the continent you see um, who enjoy that kind of support yeah but let me tell you something. You see, the fact that uh, they, the, there's that spirit of guys talking to each other and just uh, go mm. to and dying, they have they they kind of lead the entire industry. Yes, they're always up there. Try they're always winning. They're always putting out content, mm. even without actually paying for the the content. They give out favors in the whatever, however they can. But you see, as the own uh, the the females get discouraged because when you go to someone, he tells you actually, I'm going to help you. Yes, because we are the ones who lead. We're up here. I will help you. I, I know everyone. I know everybody. So you sit there and actually wait for somebody to make a move and they don't because you're not making your move. Mm -hmm. You're not making the move that they wanted you to. Meryl, so, I, I can't help but notice when you speak about this, you, you're almost angry. I'm very passionate like, I'm about scared. it because I read about it. I, I'm scared of you crossing over this this <laughs> <laughs> this table. But I, I, when you speak this way, I'm, I'm starting to think of all the female artists that are, that are quiet yes. and still trying to produce music and compete on that level. However... The hindrance is there. We're going to get into that yeah. in just a bit. Mm -hmm. You've now finally managed, you know, the yeah. sun is out, silver mm -hmm. lining. Mm -hmm. You've managed to release your album. After seven years. Seven years. Yes. <laughs> After seven years, I started recording it. My mother can tell you she gave me her first, the first uh, check or whatever it was a long, long time ago, maybe 2014. So let's give it like four, five years. Yeah. 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 Let's give it five years because of the recording process. Mm. So the first time I'm in studio, yo, I'm trying to even understand the producer's issues, all these things. But hey, my music is not out yet. Everybody, mm. all the guys that came after me, their music is out. They're stars right now. Yeah. I had to wait. I had to, to understand. I had to go to the studio and listen to months and months of a lot of whining and confusion, you know. Yeah. So um, at the end of the day, um, as in I came out with this because I just decided. I was like, no one is, I'm not going, I'm not going to follow the rules. Yeah. I will not give you the power to hold my music as if you're the one who's actually doing this music career. Yeah. So I went around it. Well as, done. As I did, I went around it. Since I came out of Saudi, I went around it. Yeah. Because you cannot hit something on the, on the nail when it's just screaming at you. Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, yo, I'll go around this. I'll find a way. At the end of the day, there's so many people who yeah. are up there. So many people, not just you, you yeah. know. So I found my way. Well done. I mean, yeah. I'm proud of you when I hear you speak. I mean, by the time people look at a YouTube video yeah. or they see someone pushing their new song, they don't mm. know the things that you have to oh, go yeah. through. Know, um, let's talk about your style of music. Uh, how would you describe it? I mean, seven years, there must have been a whole lot of evolution in there. Yeah. You have self-discovered reinvented, mm -hmm. started over, mm -hmm. done this and that um, as a singer and a songwriter. Yeah. Um, how, do you how would you describe your style? Okay, I am an R&B and soul, Afro soul musician, but I write music. So yes. music speaks to me in whatever way it does. Yes. So I can write Afro pop, I can write um, uh, rap music. I can't rap myself, but yeah. I can write it. Uh, so basically... With my own music, if I sing it, my voice tends to just R and B. Yes, so I just get to ad lib and all these things. So everyone is like, "You're so R and B, mm. you're so R and B." So I just, I was like, "Yo, if everyone says I'm R and B, who am I to dispute?" Then you are R and B. Yeah, you can't run away from it. I can't right? run away from it. So I've got 
I've got some shout outs for you here. Um, I can see Ken um, on the timeline saying, I've watched Meryl Page perform. I just didn't know her story. Yeah. Um, it is interesting to hear that um, women in the Kenyan music scene get to go through this kind of stuff. It's yeah. unfortunate. And we need female producers. Yes, yes. More we do. female producers, perhaps. Um, and another one here says, Great playlist, great conversations oh, on the Spice you. Drive. It is the only way to get home. So we're going to get into a performance a little bit later mm-hmm, on. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you going to perform for us? Um, uh, I'm going to do for you Stay. Yes. My guitarist couldn't make it today. Yes. He's like my handbag, yes. Steve Anarico. Yes. Uh, he's not well. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to do Stay and I'm going to do an Adele song. Nice. When we were young. Are you sure? That's uh, one of my favorite songs. Uh, <laughs> Adele, when we were young. When we were young. I'm going to try and do it for Are you, you sure? Well. Are you sure you want to uh, touch Adele? When we were young. Oh, 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 oh. oh. When wait, we wait, were wait. young. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites. I think. I love it because I'm 28. You know, I'm in that at that point where I'm just like, am I young? You're like, or old? I can see 30. <laughs> yeah. I can see 30. So Let me tell I, you, yeah. 30 is the beginning. Yeah, I know. I of your wait. life, mm. your skin gets clearer. Ooh. The money Amen. keeps coming, Ooh. and then you. I, get can. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I'm one of those people who don't. I'm not ever, never afraid of getting older. Yes. I just feel like it just gives me more power. I love that because yesterday we had a conversation on the treadmill topic and it was all about why women feel the need to lie about their age. Some women, Mm -hmm. because society expects certain things, then we find ourselves conditioned to what society dictates. So some of the things we do, we're not doing it consciously yeah it's because that's what's expected so yeah. you fall in line mm-hmm. without even realizing i'm proud of you oh. i mean 1991 i'm thinking of a song that i'm gonna drop but mm-hmm. i can't wait for the live performance okay. it was up until a brave female artist went up to post what she's had to endure just being part of the business yes. i think the hardest thing is after whatever you go through with these producers who absolutely have no regard for any artist mm-hmm. Because if they cared about the industry, if they cared about the art, if they cared about the business, um, I think you put your selfish interests on the side, on the back burner. Focus on the art, focus on the female artists. And for me, I don't want to say female male. I'm just saying the art needs to be respected. True. A lot of the comments here on the timeline are all about it's unbelievable. We didn't even know this is happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's female artists as young as 16, 15, whose records never see the light of day. Yes, yes. And this is one of those posts that got so much traction because there's a lot of women saying, I've been there before. Mm -hmm. Um, Moving forward, there's younger artists every day. There's always going to be a new female artist. Um, And when they hear this, they're probably going to be discouraged to walk into a studio and put out their own record. No, I wouldn't discourage. I wouldn't. I would would make sure that they don't get discouraged. Yes. The thing that uh, everyone has to know is the value. Mm. Because by the time you, you see this, the story was this girl went to a club. Yes. You know, it means somehow they knew each other. Mm. Like, um, and this girl was just trying to push it to the back that this thing didn't happen, you know. But this happens to everyone. Some musicians, it happens to a lot of people mm. who really would be like, you know, even if I go and tell anyone. No one's going to believe it, me. Yeah, who will believe me? Because this, this is a big person. And you know, uh, musicians are viewed and producers are viewed at a very high bar in a very mm. weird way, like stars, like people who are not like supernatural. Yes. You're getting. So if someone does this to you, you just start thinking, man, even if I go, who will believe me? Yeah. People believe he's a star. People believe this believe this is a good person. Mm. And as for me, um, I have been able to be uh, to get uh, not be able to uh, come through this thing. This, yes. Because I have a mother who's very involved in my life. Yeah. And number two, she's just always like, I do not want to find you. Uh, this and this. And if I'm late in the studio, she would send me money, Uber money to go home, you know, yeah. so that I am not in a position where um, things like this happen to me. Mm. And at the same time, I also do not party with with the same people I work with. It's yes. a business. So uh, you find that people get used to you. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, this one won't say anything or this one happened. But it's not okay. Yeah. If th- something like that happens to you, you say it immediately. Yeah. Immediately that person has to be reprimanded because they work with so many people. Can you imagine the if the name comes out and you've worked with them, how bad you would feel, Monique, if you did a song with the person. Mm. And then you just be like, man... I didn't see those vibes or, you know. Yeah. So you feel attacked. You, mm. feel, you feel attacked even you by yourself. And this girl f- 
herself it has been attacked yeah so she doesn't even know where to start from yeah where i mean you you can it's it's, Lord, a, it's a tough place to be in because you're thinking um damned if i do damned if i don't yes. um should i talk about it what are people going to say about mm-hmm. it um moving forward in your view what do you think more female artists need to do together because we've also been accused of not supporting each other mm-hmm. when there's been decades mm-hmm. of women before us who've been part of this business doing it yeah um together we all have the capacity to make sure that some of these things at least um get a platform to be heard yeah. especially when you have the backing of fellow women when you mentioned earlier that you've had women supporting you yeah why is it that we see in a situation like this where this lady has posted her experience mm-hmm. which might not necessarily be the general experience for all women mm-hmm. but i didn't see many women in the business almost go like wait a minute um this is what we're going to do moving forward mm-hmm. uh i want to be with you and stand with you during this mm-hmm. um it was up until she posted what she posted yeah. that some of them said well me too but low key it yeah. wasn't in your face 100% support mm-hmm. um and that's where a lot of men um in fact i saw a comment that said uh some of these women and i oh, there, there was another derogatory term some of these women it's when they don't get what they want all right so mm-hmm. they generalized us wow <laughs> all right um, what so what we're not, so what music? so what we're not understanding oh, is yeah. if one female artist is attacked mm-hmm. all the female artists are attacked mm-hmm. i mean it, when you look at the yes, the yes. careers of all the women after us yes. before us generally we should all band together mm-hmm. um in your view in your capacity mm-hmm. having seen this kind of exposé what do you think you can do That's why I was telling you that I usually provide a lot of I did psychology in uni. Yes. So um then I just did I I practiced it for a few months before yes. I just went fully into music. Yeah. So I usually get to uh, prov- like ask uh, provide um uh, advice for females who come with me with such uh questions where where do we go what do we do next you know. Uh because you first of all this for the women right now yes. it's been years. Mm. as in she she's talking about some things that happened years ago. Yeah. So before somebody even like me comes out and just directly tells her tells her, "Yo, you should pursue this, you should do this." Mm. You should have informed, you should have information, very good mm. information, meaning you should have asked a lawyer, mm. you should have talked to a psychologist, all these things so that you know where to actually go go like direct with this with this female. Right. Because many people around you will advise you and say by the way, this this is going to be thrown out out of the window yeah. immediately but she will get justice because that's even what we were discussing today money mm. like females don't have the representation where where you just go to someone and say hey um this sort of happened to me and this mm. is in, in the music industry yeah. who who will you go to yeah. as in the normal lawyers somebody who, and you do not even have the you don't have the a tangible and evidence mm. t- for this so a woman another woman will be like i do support you i do empathize with you but where are we going to go with this yeah. it's just going to flood my my career too yeah. i'm just going to be that person who's going to be blacklisted with all the producers for saying hey this is the person who did this, this is the person who did that yeah. yet they need to be punished so it's something that need, needs to be treaded on very 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 yeah whichever way you look we, at yeah, it so do you think you do you think it. she's going to get a media blackout because of what she did because Do you think this is the end? She shouldn't. She yeah. shouldn't and and uh, it won't it won't be the end of her because at the end of the day I told you there's always around. Yes. You will always get to where you go. Your star will still shine. You'll go get I to where that. you're going. You don't have to think that that's the only way that your success was supposed to happen. Yeah. Some things are just a journey. So if you went through that and you learned by the way by when I go out I can't go out with some friends. I can't do this and all these things. The next thing is you pick yourself up. and you say this is not my life yeah. i'm going to move this way there's always a t junction somewhere 